Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Gary Allen Mahan travels the world preaching and teaching God's Word. Please listen today as Reverend Mahan brings to you a life-changing message from God. Well, praise God. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm Reverend Gary Allen Mahan. I want to talk with you something about that the Lord gave to me personally. And he said, I want you to share this with all my people. One day while I was in prayer, God came to me and he said, I want you to do something special for me. I want you to build an altar for me. So I took this uh, red string here that represents the blood of Jesus and I made a circle on the floor and I got inside it and I began to pray and the Lord said, now I want you to do something else. I want you to make a vow to me. And I knew right what God meant when he said, I want you to make a vow. He wanted me to make a vow of money. And this is what God said. He said, I want you to vow to somebody $350. I said, God, I don't have $350. He said, that's what a vow is. Make a vow. A vow is not something you do all at one time. A vow is not something uh, that you have to do immediately. A vow is something that's done over a period of time. Well, that's where my faith had to kick in. And I, so I made that vow, and I began to pay on it little by little. $10 here, $20 there. Well, within just a few weeks after that, God opened a door for me and gave me $2,000 in one week. He was teaching me to do something for him and trust him and do just prove that... I loved him, that I trusted him, that I believed in him. And the Lord began to reveal to me scriptures and things like that on faith and vows and what it takes to move and how he doesn't want his people to be broke. He doesn't want you to be down and out. He don't want you to be sick. He don't want you to be uh, harmed, he, but he wants you to show him respect. It takes faith. Faith is a key thing in the Bible that makes God move. Uh, this altar that God told me to build, I began to study on this. And I read in Genesis 13 and verse 18, Abraham built unto the Lord an altar and worshiped him. Well, if you read into Genesis 14, you'll read where Abraham had to go on a journey. It was a battle and he had to go and rescue his nephew Lot. Uh, he had gotten in trouble. The devil sent some kings to steal him along with his belongings away and took off with him. And Abraham had was not a warrior. He was not a uh, fighter like, say, King David in the Bible. But Abraham had to have faith and gather up men and go and fight to get his nephew Lot back. Well, just before he went and done that he built an altar to God because he knew he was going to have to have some help he knew that there would be trouble if God wasn't with him and so he not only did he have to go get Lot but he had to the Bible says Abraham was a rich man so he had to leave all of his riches in the care of God having faith and believing that he would come back to them and God done the two things that Abraham asked him to do. He allowed him to rescue his family member and he brought him back to the riches that he had. Abraham was a blessed man because he done things in the eyes as if God's eyes was upon him. And that's what the Lord revealed to me today. There's nothing different about what went on with Abraham back then. He was blessed. You're supposed to be blessed. I'm supposed to be blessed. And so what the Lord has asked me to, he's laid on my heart to do is ask some people to make a vow to my ministry of $31. Now when you vow this, you don't have to pay it all at one time. There's going to be some of you that want to uh, make a bigger vow. I feel the Lord just speaking. There's some people that want to vow uh, $222, some of you a couple of hundred dollars. I don't know why the Lord spoke $222 to me. That means something to somebody. $333, that's a, a something else God said. 
that there's somebody out there that wants to bow $444. This is just confirmation to you. You felt that, and God just had me say it to reveal it to you. $555. Well, when I think about $555, that's how many times the word Christ is in the Bible. $555. But I want you to pick up the phone and call me. My telephone number is on the screen. My address is on the screen. I want you to call me and make a vow today. And I, in return, I'm going to send you one of these altars that I've prayed over that God has showed me uh, that he wants to move in your life. I want to uh, just read a few things to you. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, it says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for Jehovah thy God is with thee wherever you go. It's a command that, man, that we not get down, that we not get discouraged, that we continue to have faith in God and believe in God and do things for him and walk as if his eyes is upon us and do special things. This is uh, 2 Chronicles 15 and 15. It says, All Judah was happy about the oath because... They made the vow with their whole heart. They willingly sought the Lord, and he responded to them and made them secure on every side. It's an important thing to make a vow to God. God can secure you on every side. I find so many people as I travel around in the ministry and through mail that I receive, uh, while I'm out preaching, I hear so many people they can't understand why God won't move in certain situations. Well, God will move, but you can't just keep doing the same thing. If it ain't working, you got to do something different. That's why this vow thing is so important. I find people saying I've, the pastor has consistently prayed for me. Everybody in the church has consistently prayed for me. I pray all the time. But God wants to see you take a step of faith. God wants to see you humble yourself and do something for him. That's why he had me uh, come on here today. It's not by accident that you're watching me. That situation that you need turned around in your life, whether it be a family member, uh, whether it be your mother, your father, your uh, children, uh, whatever, yourself, your finances, whatever that thing is, you need to God to break loose. He's ready to break it loose, but he wants to see you do something in return. Now, any uh, thing that's vowed to my ministry, of course, goes back into the ministry. That's what I do. I, I don't do anything other than preach the gospel. I'm just a soldier in the army of the Lord, and so if you step out today, you'll be doing something uh, for the good towards uh, the Word of God. There's a lot of people that still need to hear the word of God, as you know, saying. Uh, I want to read a few more things to you that the Lord has just laid on my heart today to read uh, from the Bible about this vow and about seeking God and about finding God and about him being able to remove your troubles. Not only is he able, he wants to remove your troubles. And the power of our actions causes God to move. That's the whole purpose of faith. You can have faith and sit still and never make a move, and you might as well not have faith. When you have faith, the Bible says faith without works is dead. If you have faith, but you don't do anything, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to happen. And this is uh, uh, Second Chronicles says 15 and, and 15 and 4 says, But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord, God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. You can find God today in any, any situation that you're going through. Financial trouble, family member, whatever that trouble is, sickness that's come upon you, whatever that problem is, you can find God today by doing something special for him. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but the book of Samuel, First and Second Samuel, there would be no book of First and Second Samuel if it was not for his mother making a vow unto God. You can read that in First Samuel 111. Hannah 
made a vow to God and God honored that vow and that's why that child was born unto her. This is what Hannah says in 1 Samuel 2 and 3. She said, God weighs us by our actions. God moves by our actions. Have she had never made that vow, God would not have moved. God would, there would be no Samuel. She made an action and God made an action. That's what you have to do today. I want you to pick up the phone and call me toll free 1-800-546-1710 or write me right now. P.O. Box 705, South Haven, Mississippi, 38671, and make a vow of my ministry to $31 or more. Now, you don't have to pay it all at one time, and you're not vowing it necessarily to me. You're vowing it to my ministry, but you're really vowing it to God. So as you get up and pick that phone up right now, or you're writing that address down, you say, God, I'm doing this for you. I am moving, I'm tired of this situation, I'm trusting in you, and I'm going to give to this ministry and give to you and your name and Jesus' name and break these things off of me, and in return, I'm going to send you this altar that God gave me. Now, some of you say, well, Abraham was, that's a long time ago, we're in the new generation now, listen to this. This is what Paul says the Apostle Paul, who was a disciple of Jesus Christ. He says in Galatians 3 and 9, So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Nothing now is different from back then. God still wants to see you make an action towards him, see you trust in him, see you do more than just walk around and pray to him, see you do more than just witness to somebody about him. He wants you to make an action yourself. Uh, I want you to, now this, I really want you to listen to this, folks. This is a very, very important, I want you to listen to this. Job, in the book of Job, chapter 29, verse 11, when the ear heard me, when God's ear heard me, then it blessed me, and when the eye saw me, it gave witness unto me. God is watching you right now. God has gave this to me to give to you, and God is watching you right now. As you respond to this ministry, God is watching you. He's hearing you. He's got his eye up on you. He's watching you. As you walk to the phone by faith and or you write that address down, you can call me toll free 1-800-546-1710 and vow uh, at your convenience by credit card and we'll rush this back out to you and have it to you in far less than a week's time. Listen to what Job goes. the book of Job goes on to say. Job 22 and 27 Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear your prayer. You make that prayer unto God right now, and he'll hear that prayer. And this is what it goes on to say, and thou shall pay thy vows. God wants to see us do something. When God told me to build that altar and give $350, I didn't understand it then. But now I began to understand it as the Lord revealed it to me. He wants to see an action out of you. He wants to see an action out of me. He wants to see an action out of somebody. He wants to see an action towards him. God wants to be loved and he wants to see you take steps by faith, by faith towards him. Uh, listen to this. This goes on uh, in verse uh, in the next verse, verse 28, thou shalt also decree a thing. The word decree means say something. Means say this is going to happen. My family member is going to come off the streets that's in drugs. My children is not going to be in drugs. If I myself, if you're out there and you have a drug problem, say I myself decree that this is over. This is over. This, I decree this thing. I decree my, that family member in the hospital or nursing home. I decree that I break the devil's hands off of my finances and that I get the blessings that God really wants me to have. And it says, 
once you agree that thing, it shall be established unto thee. Thy light shall shine upon thy ways. Now, folks, once you say that, once you make a vow, once you do something in the eyes of God, you have the ability to decree anything you want to decree. The situation in your life can change just by making a step of faith towards God and decreeing a thing. This is what Psalm 76, 11 says. It says, Vow and pay unto the Lord your God all that be round about that ought to be feared. That vow, make a vow and pay the vow. Keep your word. Make the vow and do it in the honor of God, in the name of Jesus, and you can't go wrong. You can decree that thing to go differently once you take a step of faith in God. Here's another one in Psalm 61, 5. For you, O God, hear my vows. When you make that vow today, God's going to hear it. God's going to see it. The Bible says God's eyes is up on even the sparrow. His eyes are definitely up on you today. He's going to see that vow that you make. And you. it goes on to say, And you grant me the reward that belongs to your loyal followers. It belongs to you today. You're a follower of Jesus. You're a follower in God. You're a believer. You have faith. You need to get what? God has to you. It belongs to you. It says right there. It belongs to the loyal father. It, it follower. It belongs to you. Proverbs 16 and 3 says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy purposes and thoughts shall be established. Some of you are going around confused. Some of you don't quite understand what's going on in your life. God said, Commit your works to me. Commit Commit your works. Commit your works to me. And when you make that vow today, it's going to help me spread the gospel. It's going for a good cause. Commit your works to God. And then you'll understand. Then he'll establish your purposes and your thoughts. And he'll give you reason. And you won't be confused. Uh, Psalm 15 and 14, Offer to God a sacrifice. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows. There's so many things about this vow in the Bible. Uh, and of course the altar, Moses built altars. So many people built altars in the Bible. It was just a respect thing for God. It was, they knew they had to respect God if they were gonna do big things. And the people that honored God and walked as if God was on him are written in the Bible. They're, uh, they, because God honored that. He honored it. Uh, you can touch God today. It's possible. You're, whatever situation you're in, you're thinking uh, it's not possible to touch God because I've been going through it so long. Wrong. Make a vow unto God. Make a vow unto God. Take a step of faith today. Pick up the phone and call me or write me right now. I'm going to read uh, a few more things here. Um, this is what God woke me up in the middle of the night and told me. That God opposes the proud. He, he don't like a proud person. Some people are too proud to get in on what God wants to do for them. You say, well, I know God. I, I already know him. I, I don't need that. Well, a proud person, God opposes that. This is what James 4 and 6 says says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself before God today and let him change those situations in your life. Humble yourself today and let God come in and do amazing things in your life and turn them around just as he has mine and just as he will yours. This is not something I just come up with. I go around the world preaching to you, just to people just like I'm preaching to you today. And I want to just take out time. I grabbed up a few testimonies of some people that have wrote me letters. Um, I just grabbed them on my way in before I sat down to do the show. And this one looks like it's from Margaret. Let's open this and just see what the Lord is doing. I get so many letters in, folks, but I don't have time to read a bunch of them, of course. Okay, this is Margaret from New Orleans. Dear man of God, I suffered for many years with migraine headaches. 
I started having to take pills to ease them. After a while, the pills stopped working. My doctor said I needed a surgery done on my female or areas, and this would cure it. I underwent the surgery, and there was no change whatsoever. I saw your show and made the vow for myself and for my mother, who was in the hospital with pneumonia. I feared my mother would die because of her age and having pneumonia. I vowed $62, a vow for myself and a vow for my mother. Man of God, my mother came out of the hospital the next day and I've not had a migraine headache in more than two months. Margaret, praise God for you and your mother and for your victory in faith that it it works that praise God let me just read another one here uh, see who this is from this is from a uh, Stephen from let's see here from Jacksonville Florida it says there Stephen from Florida. My son was on drugs and heading for disaster. Boy, drugs is tearing our children apart, folks. If for no other reason, you need to get on the phone and call me and get one of these altars and make this vow today to keep your children safe. The world is eating them up. And heading, my child was heading for disaster. I saw you on TV and I made the $31 vow and received the altar. I took a piece of the altar and put it in his jacket pocket. I noticed he began staying home more and not running the streets. I just want to stop right there and say, Stephen, that's a new one. You put it in your son's jacket pocket. And praise God, that, that it's just a point of contact, folks. You don't have to lay this out on the floor like I did. You can stick it in your pocketbook. Stick, stick this where you need the blessing. He hid it in his son's jacket pocket. And let's see what else he goes on to say here. Um, I noticed he began staying home more and not running the streets. Before you and what God is using you to do, my son and I had only a bad relationship. God changed that through your ministry, and now we are like best friends. I'm vowing another $75 to go to God through your ministry. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Stephen from Florida. And when you said that you've got a relationship, a good relationship with your son, that scripture hit my mind. Malachi 4 and 6, he, he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to the fathers. Bless God, and I've got your offering here, Stephen. Thank you very much, and God, I just thank you for blessing Stephen in Florida. Hallelujah for his miracle. Thank you. Glory be unto the Father. We're going to read one more here. This is Barbara from Texas. Praise the name of the God. I feel God in here. I feel God in here. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is for Barbara in Texas. My finances was down, and I was about to lose my home, and I saw you on TV, and I vowed $100 to God through your ministry, and got the altar and kept it in my purse. I like this right here. She said, I vowed $100 to God, through your ministry. That's what I continuously tell everybody. You're not vowing to me. Don't vow to me. Do it in the eyes of God. You're serving a God that can change things. I can have faith and believe with you, but you're the one who's got to take the step of faith today and do it as if God's eyes is upon you and he'll bless you. I got the altar and kept it in my purse. See, you, there's another one. You don't have to keep this altar or do anything big with it. Stick it where you need the blessing. Put it in your pocketbook. Put it under your pillow. Put it under your child's bed. I've heard of all kinds of things. It's the point of contact. The faith is what makes God move. The company I worked for made me a manager and gave me 
a $1,500 bonus. Praise the Lord, Barbara in Texas, a $1,500 unexpected miracle bonus in your finance. Hallelujah. Now I'm paying all my bills with no problem. I have enclosed another $100 as I know you are God sent. Barbara, thank you for your offering here, your additional offering. Folks, the list goes on and on and on about what God is doing. I just keep, I go back, I keep going back to that uh, Job twenty two twenty seven. 27, I just talked to you about. Thou shall make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. But this is a strong one that goes with it. Thou shalt also decree a thing. What is your problem today? What thing is jumped on you? What seems that it won't change? Is the devil attacking your family? Is the devil attacking your finances? Is the devil attacking your children? Do you have a loved one in the hospital that you want God to do something for? Take a step of faith. Make that $31 vow or listen to God. Obey God. Somebody wants to vow $100. Somebody wants to vow that $222. Somebody wants to vow $333. That $444. God, I just thank you. The Lord is just speaking. That $550, $55 is a powerful one. That's how many times the Lord uh, Jesus, the name Christ, is in the Bible. God revealed that to me. That's a powerful one right there. Remember, when you vow a thing, you don't have to pay it all at one time. It's just making a vow with your words, with your heart. You make the vow, and then you keep what you say, and you slowly do it as you can as God releases you to do it, and he will bless you for it. And ladies and gentlemen, again, my name's Reverend Gary Allen Mahan. I thank you so much for tuning in today, and I just pray for each and every one of you. I'm just going to raise my hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as these people go to the phone and they go and pick up the phone, God, to call and make this vow and do this thing that you've had me to ask them to do that you've been dealing with me on. God, I think you'll just begin to unleash blessings. God's unleashing blessings right now and miracles and things to people just because you've made the action, just as Hannah in your Bible, in your word, God, made the vow unto you and you gave her a son. She made an action, and as these people make their actions, God, your hand is already moving, and I feel that in Jesus' name. I feel the power of God right here, and I know you feel him too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm waiting to hear from you. My name's Reverend Gary Allen Mahan. Pick up the phone and call me, toll free, 1-800-546-1710. Or write me and put your vow in there or say I'm vowing this much. Put You can pay the whole amount or you can just pay part of it and send it to P.O. Box 705 South Haven, Mississippi. That's 38671. And let me know what God's doing and your needs. And I'm going to pray with you and believe with you. God bless you, in Jesus' name, amen. To bow and receive the altar, call 1-800-546-1710 or write Rev. Gary Alamahan Ministries at P.O. Box 705 South Haven, Mississippi 38671. Let today be the day that God moves in your life.